Hello everyone, welcome back to SK Shadow, welcome back to the 7x FC Creator Club career mode, but quickly before we start the career mode, I'm literally going to give a quick little update on on my ultimate team. So, as I'm recording this, it is much later than the video I've recorded for the career mode if that makes sense. So the career mode video was probably recorded about a week and a half ago, or maybe even longer, and there's me here, ages later. Just popping this on the front of the video, just because there's not really much to show, um, other, than, other than that. It's quite literally show team, explain how my pack luck's been done so that is the team I mean I like the team everywhere except the defense the thing is my fullbacks are brilliant my goalkeeper not too sure on I just bought him because he's a hero card but we don't talk about that I'll probably get him in the guarantees that I get in December anyways uh, Ramos brilliant it's Ruben Diaz I'm not really a fan of just because of the 61 pace but you know it's the best um, the best I can do to get a strong link here unless I was to make Carl Walker a centre back but that doesn't work no more and there's not really anyone else because it had because this is like the, the perfect link of dreams it just has to be done but you know, I think I've been creative with the team. It's kind of cool. I mean, my last team that you haven't seen was really great. I did a Swedish link to Lundberg, as you saw. He was on my transfer list. And then, you know, that's a cool link, isn't it? But I feel like I've got it good. Um, yes, I've got too many here on 8 chem. My idea is to actually bin him off. Keep him on the bench. He is untradeable, so I don't need to sell him. And I'm going to get myself Frankie de Jong, who is supposedly going to set me back um, about 100k. Maybe a bit less. What is the absolute cheapest he is? There's no way I can afford his Champions League card. Be nice if I packed it. About 95k. Uh, oh, actually, while I'm here, it is a Thursday I'm recording this little bit on. So I do technically have packs. So yeah, I do have division rival rewards. Uh, I don't have foot champ rewards. I haven't actually had time to play foot champs. I did qualify for the weird placement eight game thing. But then just didn't have enough time to play all of it. But, oh well. I will probably do that at some point. Just to say I've done it. I will take that then. That's disappointing. I thought I played a lot more than that. Right, nearly in Division 5 as well. Nearly. Just all about the time I have to play because I'm a working man. What can I say? Right, here we go. I almost had a heart attack and I thought I'd just bagged myself a Lorente, but then it just wasn't a walkout. That was the worst pack as well. Bet you it's that Palinia guy. Huh. He lost a leg. Apparently he lost a leg. Oh well, that pack was tradable. So half tradable, half untradable rewards. That's cool. Cool, that's it for this little part. Moving on to career mode and go enjoy career mode. Because it's it's good. We we lose all the time. 
Welcome back to the 7XFC Creator Club career mode here for episode number five. I think it is five. Anyways, as of recording this, episode two just went live today, which is cool. Hope you enjoyed that. That was an interesting episode where we didn't really win much. Um, and at the moment, nothing has changed at all. Uh, we are still losing. And my remote has stopped working. Anyways. Yeah, nothing has changed. We're on the brink of being sacked. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, last episode, that was the one. Yeah, forgot about that. Because I just edited episode two, so three was a bit of a blind thing to me. We, yeah, we got battered a few times. Yeah. We may or may not have lost 7-0 to Tottenham. We may or may not have lost 5-2 to West Ham. 3-0 to Wolves, 2-1 to Watford. And we may or may not have lost again 7-1 to United. Yeah, so in the space of two months we conceded 10, 12, 15, 20, 22, 23, 30 goals in two months. Oh, I bet I'll, I'll, I'll be interested to see what our goal difference is compared to everyone. Like I have a feeling it is going to be diabolical. I can't actually see it. Oh, last hour of the transfer window. Is that where it's saved? Interesting. Well, hopefully, yeah, we got our signings. We got our three people. Okay, if you did miss the last episode, spoiler alert right now, it was the January transfer window as well, was it not? Possibly. And I think I just did some mad signings. I, I, I lose track of what I do so quickly. Anyways, Martinez came in, which is very cool indeed. Almiron came in, very cool indeed. He had a very good start, as I remember, scoring two goals in the two games I played. And then we brought in Kareem Adi Yemi for the culture. Because I can clickbait. So, plus he's good anyway, so there's that. And then we have our youth scouts. What are the youth scout? Uh, Weaver. Okay. Here we go. We're going to play United. I have. Ugh, my remote is still not working. Uh, yep, glad it's all worked out. He came to me and spoke about, about the team not winning anything, whatever. We have another scout come back from the youth. None of these are going to be any good, I just know it. I suppose I, I've just got to give a chance to some of them. Oh yes, see that's what you want. That's what you want, 850k value. Ooh, I like that, I like that a lot. But here we go. Manchester United. The team. Do I give Adiemi the go against Jensen? Who is actually better overall? The only difference is actually defending and physical by a lot. Like defending is big. Yeah, Adiemi goes in. Adiemi goes in. Ah, oh, that's that's fine. Anyone else? Probably not. Right. Welcome to our Tim Pot Stadium. Right, here we go. Switch to the right player. Oh, there it goes. 1 0. Ah, oh, dear. Who was that? Luke Shaw. Oh, my God. Well, the commentator said we're unlucky, so I'll take that. Let me just slow things down, and then 
work from the back. Oh, he went for, for the overhead. If he scored that, I would have quit right away. We are so lucky we're only 1-0 down right now. Me and my big mouth. Oh, ho. Oh. And he celebrates over at the Mancunians who decided to travel to Seven Oaks. Why are they chanting Chelsea, we love you? It's interesting. Marcus Rashford. Here's one Bissaka. And it might be. God, stop. Well, what a save that is. I will say it. I genuinely think our keeper's the best player on the pitch sometimes. The saves he pulls off is incredible. How has I got him? What? <laughs> Ronaldo's on a brace. Oh, get lost. He's just done that right in my face. That's offside, no? It's not. They're on side 4 0. I need to go careful. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I said that last time. Why on earth? A Man City buying with egg horst. It just doesn't. Doesn't make sense. I'm going to ignore the fact we just conceded. Ronaldo's off. Thank God for that. Not exactly a bad replacement though, and Cavani. He's quite a useful striker. Don't care. Oh, get lost. What I was going to say is two great players in a great stadium. All great teams in a great stadium. They got half of that wrong. There's only one great team and no good stadium. See? We're the good team. This stadium is a good stadium. Mm. It's not. It's not. Right, how many is that now? Six. Oh. Oh. Shall I? Oh, it's six. Oh. We've conceded like 50 goals and it's not even February yet. Oh. So, the difference between that loss and the last loss is we didn't concede. No, we scrapped that. We didn't score. <laughs> if I can get my words right. We didn't score in this one. Last time was 7 1, and this time it was 7 0. Oh, what if we get sacked from our own team? Oh. Oh, I get it now. I finally understand. Man United triumph under over seven oaks. Seven. Seven oaks. Seven. That's the key word there is seven. K 
keyword seven and that's the third game we've lost seven or more goals yeah so Liverpool are at the top of the league brilliant and <laughs> we got to try beat them go We've done it. <sighs> we're one nil up. Oh my god, we're one nil up. Calm down. That is so good. I'm shaking. That was coming. That was coming months ago. <laughs> months ago, this. McGuigan. Oh, McGuigan. Come on. Look at that. Bang. Oh. Right. Hold on to it. Half time. 2 1. Can we hold on for a whole half? Probably not. Will we? Maybe. Uh, I hope so. Good save. Why am I lagging offline? Oh, it's offside. Liverpool got Jamie Vardy. What? What? That's a random signing. That is so random. Why are they time wasting? Come on. Are they going to take it? We'll just sit all day then. Oh no, he's, he's finally decided. All of that. That just worked. How has that worked? We have plenty of live football in store for you right here on EA TV. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, it's there for him. Oh, again. Come on. Team needs to learn to finish as well as pass and as well as defend. Team needs to learn to play football. Here's Alex Scott. It was Everton that was awarded the penalty. Breaking at pace. Oh, here we go. Yes, we might have won it. We might have won this. Come on. Who was that? Jensen. Oh, yes. What a guy. I know I dissed you and said Adi is probably better, but get the hell in. What a game this has turned out to be. Come on. Let's go. We've actually gone and beat Liverpool. I'm shocked. Well, there you go. My player's injured, mind, I noticed. Oh, five days, that's fine. He can go for five days. I just don't believe how we've won that. Well. Well, 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 well. I just, yeah, I, I am shocked. We've actually gone and done that. Um, all right. Brighton. So, please, please, please. 
Yeah, 3-1. Okay, results are coming. Results are coming in. Good. Right, so next was Palace, if I am correct. Oh, yes, it was. And I'm hoping we can beat Palace as well. All right, Palace. What do you got for me? Please don't. 4-4. Four, four. Holy, that's a game and a half. That's incredible for the, the uh, neutral supporters there. Or just the neutral fans. McGuigan has got an upper rating point to 80. That's cool. Anyways, all right. So that is that month done. We move into March already. Crazy. It feels like it's gone really quick. Um, it may or may not have gone quite quick. There is three months of gameplay left. Or games left before we move on. Um, I don't really know how long I've been recording this currently, but um, I might leave that for another episode there. Uh, I might, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I kinda need to work on these though. This is what I need to see though, the youth. 1758, he's got potential of that. Five star skill moves. Ryan Russell. Three star, four star, Connor Weaver. Probably not quite what I'm looking for. And then Elliot Johnson. Oh. Right wing, there's only three star, three star. He's got 47 dribbling. Man, he looks terrible. Right, Russell's a good one. Promote. He'll prove himself useful. Hmm. I wonder what jobs are available. A few Spanish teams. A few Prem teams. That's interesting. Not sure why they would want me. Oh, when you put it like that, that shows my overall record. 12 wins, 6 draws, 16 losses. That isn't terrible, but the goals away is 77, which is horrible. We've played one season and we've conceded 77 goals. That is, that is pretty tragic, is it not? Do I move on and play Chelsea? I don't know. No, I don't continue on, because I've had a notification to say my pizza's on the way. Anyways, right, um... I will not play Chelsea this episode, I'll play it next, which is cool, so keeping these episodes a little shorter. Have my scouts come back with anything? Kiro Immobile, who is who I'm using in my ultimate team actually, he's pretty solid. Um, thank you ever so much for watching, like, subscribe, check all the links in the description for all that cool stuff, merch, Patreon, Discord, all down below. And other than that, I shall see you in part number six of this Creator Club career mode. Uh, and whatever else comes in between. So, see you then. Goodbye.